Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, hope you're doing really well, welcome back to Vlogmas, I feel like I'm going to say that every single video. Um, today's video is going to be my monthly little review that I do where I talk about the products that I got the month before in subscription boxes, so a birch box and then also the picks that I got from the Feel Unique Pick and Mix sample service which I think is still paused at the moment so I feel like I got there just in time in November um, and um, talk through the things that I tried and tell you what I thought of them so let's just get straight into it shall we let's start with Birchbox I'm going to leave both my unboxings down below um, just so you see that and I talk about the products I guess like their descriptions a bit more and my first impressions and stuff but anyway in Birchbox the Vita Masks like three step kind of facial thing. Um, let's go through it individually. So the first thing was the Rose Facial Scrub. Um, this smelt a lot like Rose. Um, and also the scrub, it was very like thin and watery, but then had like the little kind of um, scrubby bits in, what what's in here? Plant cellulose beads. Um, and there weren't many of them. So it wasn't like really scrubby, it was it was more uh, on the gentle side, but then again, not as gentle as like, you know, like a gommage kind of thing that you rub in it and like all your dead skin kind of like peels off. It wasn't like that, obviously, it still was a bit scrubby, so. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like the smell of it because it was like really strong of rose, but hey. Um, the Super Blossom, no, the, what is this? Yeah, Super Blossom Sheet Mask. Um, I really liked this. It fit my face really nicely. Sometimes I find that um, the eyes aren't big enough and I have to rip the eyes. But I do have apparently big eyes, but I don't really think I necessarily do compared to my face. Um, <laughs> uh, so I, I normally have to like rip them or sometimes like the nose. I had to keep pressing it down on the nose because it like pops up because it's like stretched everywhere else. However, this fit really nicely and did not smell like rose. It just smelled really nice and... Um, there was a lot of like serum left over and stuff and it was lovely and then the hibiscus moisturizer there was enough in here for two or three applications so i kept this sachet after i used it the first time and just continued to use it um again um i don't know what hibiscus smells like but this smelled really nice and light um and actually felt really nice as well so overall i really enjoyed it and i'd be tempted to buy it again in different scents to see if there was a scent I'd prefer more than the rose scrub but everything else is really good um the liquid lipstick that I've got on um it just <sighs> I do think it's quite a nice colour and a lot of people in my vid um in the comments of my unboxing said oh it is re really nice colour however it just like dries too much like it dries down feels really dry and then also um the some liquid lipsticks are good where even like the the bit of your lips that's like a little bit inside it still like stains them or tints them this doesn't so when you're talking you literally have like a big line that you can see um and also like it's so drying and then get lines on your lips so it's not the best for you know um, wanting to go out anywhere and look good however in a video <laughs> when people really just see the colour on your lips it's fine but I wouldn't recommend this liquid lipstick the Philip Kingsley finishing touch polishing serum I actually really like this um, I was expecting it to be more of a cream but it literally is like a gel kind of serum um, and it's really good for your flyaways and for your split ends and stuff it's lovely so yeah excuse me I'm getting a bit of a cold and um, the Birchbox mirror is a mirror it's reflective what more could you want um I haven't taken it out anywhere because where have I been except Sainsbury's nowhere so yeah but it's always handy to have so that's good and then we move on to my samples from the Feel Unique Pick and Mix service. So let's start with these two, which are by the brand that I cannot say, Amora Vishka, Amora Viksha, Amora Visha, Amora V, I don't know, that brand. Um, the Illumini C eye cream is exactly what it says on the tin. 
it's really illuminating there's something in here that is just so like brightening and shiny that under your eyes just looks really good so i feel like it would be almost a waste to use it at night but a really good one to use in the morning to so kind of brighten up your under eyes and it like honestly instantly was like wow my under eyes look really bright once i put makeup on and stuff i'm not really sure that i noticed it well i, I didn't notice it at all um but when i first put it on i was like wow <laughs> very good so that's really good the um the daily vitamin c um i have found to be fine like i just do a pump in the mornings but like um i prefer the texture not gonna lie of the nip and fab one um that i have because that's more of a gel and i have quite oily skin so like i i just like the feelings of gels on my skin this is a cream um but this is still really light um i prefer the scent of the nip and fab one but but just because i prefer the texture and the scent of it doesn't mean that uh the ingredients are amazing like the ingredients in here could be a lot better i'm just rubbish with knowing about ingredients and things or how much vitamin c is in things and all that kind of stuff um but this feels nice smells nice um i feel like i don't really have anything else to say about it but um yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> and then my three little sachets so okay let's start with this one the indie lee active oil free moisturizer to hydrate and protect oh my goodness this honestly smells disgusting it smells so so bad to me it smells horrible like it to me it smells like sour and almost like it should be fizzy it's but doesn't almost smells like lemonade but without the lemon or the sugar maybe what like i it would expect soda water to smell like even though i don't think i've ever smelt it just like it just felt odd and then i was looking at the ingredients like is there anything in here that i think oh wow it really smells like that and there isn't but there's so many like flowers in here and there's daisy jasmine tangerine orange grape clove mandarin lavender all this kind of stuff and you think it doesn't smell like any of those i really didn't like the smell um the texture of this though felt really nice and it was a nice oil free moisturiser, it did the job, it um, was was good, It just the smell put me off and um, it got to like the third day of me using this and I was like oh I really, no, no I just don't want to use it anymore so I wouldn't buy this which is such a shame. Um, the, talking about smell, the Paula's Choice Intensive Repair Cream with Retinol for dry and very dry skin smells amazing i'm getting a bit of a cold i literally couldn't smell anything then um this smells like snow fairy and i'm not even joking um it's not like a really strong snow fairy smell it smells almost like a bit like typical skincare and then they've tried to put like a scent in but i don't know whether they have perfume in here or not but in here there's watermelon uh green tea there's licorice but it doesn't smell like licorice there's apple um but overall it smells really really sweet um and i love the smell of that <laughs> and also it feels quite nice as well <laughs> so there's that and then the last thing is the enemis pro collagen oxygenating night cream so far i've only used this for one night um but i was putting it on and i was like wow this as a cream feels really really nice on my skin it just like wasn't like too thick or too heavy it wasn't like really light it just felt really nourishing and really like luxurious it felt really nice um so yeah i would probably buy that i would buy the paula's choice um thing i would buy the amorovishka whatever it is eye cream if i was especially if i was worried about darkness or you know and stuff under my eyes um and i would buy the vitamus thing again um the amorovishka vitamin c i just feel like amorovishka i'm saying that but i don't know if that's how you say it i feel like that's quite an expensive brand if i'm right and so like i probably wouldn't go out of my way to go and buy this 
um unless someone now tells me like actually that's got like 10% vitamin C and whereas the nip and fab one's only got one and this is so much better for you and then I'll be like oh, okay that makes sense then you know so there we go they are my thoughts on the things that I got in my birch box and feel unique pick a mix service for the month of November um let me know whether you have used any of the same things as me um and what you thought of them as, as well because it'd be nice to know whether we've got the same opinions um from using the same stuff but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um and i will see you tomorrow in my next video <laughs> bye